Assalamu alaikum, my name is Hamza and uh, today I would like to uh, teach uh, Mr. Garner about math. And math is uh, in math subject we're going to learn about algebra and area. And let's first of all start with algebra. Okay, so first of all, um, in algebra we use letters. Okay, it's just the same system of adding and multiplying and uh, minusing, but and dividing, but by using letters. Let me give you an example. So my example would be like so. So of course algebra, we use it by letters, and it's like just like a b t d e f g or u until a to z. Okay. So we use it only with letters, uh, but it could also be like, um, you can use it with letters and numbers together. So, I will give you an example like A plus B. It's just like this, A plus B. Uh, this is what I mean by algebra. It's, you add it by using letters. And people, you can also do this. 2a plus 3b 2a plus 3b and uh, helpful for people that want to become a doctor um, and an engineer and a pilot they help you in angles subtractions and multiply and addition and division it helps you on those and the most people that you really use algebra is engineer because engineers are specialized by math okay they're good in math so if anybody of you wants to become a doctor engineer or a pilot uh, math is can help you get to your goal okay so we have two examples a plus b or 2a plus b it can be a plus three a plus three it can be um, it can be like anything you want. It can you can use it like a plus b, b plus c, b b b plus a, two plus b. You can use it with numbers and letters. You you can put it like a number with a letter together, or you can use only a letter plus a number. Okay, so you can also do an opposite of that. And um, if you tell uh, like if you put it like that and the question was a plus plus two how can you know the answer well of course a is an unknown number you cannot know what it is uh, unless if they tell you a is twin uh, what if they said like a unless if they tell you a is uh, two okay so it's uh, a is an unknown number okay so let's say if they said that a is two so a minus minus uh, two the answer is going to be zero if they told you that a is two. So algebra is all, um, algebra can also be used in angles, okay, and also can be used in, in subtraction. So let's see in subtraction and addition. So let's say now um, a times a times a times a. What do you think the, uh, would be the answer? Pause the video and think of this question. Then uh, write the answer in the comments. So, uh, if you want to know like what the answer of this, it's just easy. Let's give you an example. Okay, uh, a times a times a times a times a. Okay, you count how many a's is there? There's one, two, three, four, four a's. So the answer would be four a. Okay. And in addition, addition could also be uh, like just same, similar, but in a different uh, formula. So let's say two plus b. For example, if they said um, for subtraction, it's different. For subtraction, if they give you a number with a letter, okay, so like they said two um, two b minus three b. So the answer would be one b. Just put in your fingers three. Minus two is going to be one. So, you, so if the letters are same, it's going to be one. And 
but if they said they said two minus b you cannot know the answer unless if, the, if they gave you an uh, equal of a or b if they can give you an equal of that letter if they tell you that that letter is two so it's going to be like uh, it's going to be like you know that 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 letter is two so you can minus it but if they didn't tell you you um, you you cannot get the answer okay and this is the method of subtraction and addition and multiplication for algebra so now we would like i would like to go to area and area i would like to tell you that draw a rectangle or then rectangle and the width and length like this this is going to be eight centimeter this is going to be five centimeter and eight cm and five centimeters. 